Hey, what's good YouTube? Tristan here, back with another video. You saw the title, you click this video, you're watching it, and I promise you it's not clickbait, but we'll get to that here in a second. Um, something that I really haven't talked about on YouTube since I started this channel really is the photography that I've done in the past. Um, before I ever uploaded my first YouTube video, um, photography was my main focus. Photography was it for me. And that's what I did up until I moved to LA and a little bit after I moved to LA. I did a lot of fashion photography. Um, I did street photography. And some of my favorite work was shooting concerts. Um, if you name the artist, more than likely I photographed them in concert along with my buddy um, Terrence Russian and uh, Marcus Thompson, Winton Yates. Chelsea Turner, all those, all, all those are my homies back home in Atlanta. Um, but once I moved out here, I didn't have that kind of family. So it kind of, it kind of died off a little bit. Now, again, before I started this channel, um, in 2016, I actually picked up my second film camera. I got the Olympus OM10, which I absolutely love. My very first one was the Canon AU1 that I had while I was in Atlanta that my, my dad gave me. But I picked up this camera right here and I absolutely love this thing. Um, my film of choice is the Fujifilm Superior Extra 400. Um, just some cheap film that you can get for, what, 12 bucks at CVS. Um, but that's pretty much what I've shot exclusively ever since I've had this camera. So all that said, um, yes, I'm heavy into YouTube. Yes, I'm heavy into video, but I really want to get back to my roots, if you want to call it that. And I want to shoot more film, like a lot more film. I want to start creating art again. Um, I miss creating art. I love the process of creating art. I miss the challenges within that process of making art. And instead of creating with the, uh, the Olympus OM-10, uh, I wanted to upgrade to my first um, medium format camera. So I went out and I picked up the Pentax 645 off of Amazon. I found this bad boy for about $300 on eBay. And I am super excited to start using this again. I just want to create art with this thing. And I think this will be the uh, the workhorse for now. Crazy thing about this camera, again, I got off of eBay and um, it shipped on Monday from Japan and it got here on Wednesday. It took three days for it to get here from Japan. That's better than like shipping within the United States, which is crazy. So back to the title of this video. Um, really excited that I have this camera, but unfortunately it's unusable. I can't use it. And the reason being is because I could only afford the body at the time. Um, I couldn't get a, a, a lens or anything like that up until one of my checks hit, but the check finally hit. So I went over to KEH and I ordered myself a 75 millimeter lens um, f2.8 for this body specifically. So the lens will be here in a couple days. It'll be here by Tuesday, uh, which is actually two days before I leave to Atlanta. I'm actually going back home to Atlanta. If you guys don't know, I'm, I'm from Atlanta. That's where all my family and friends are. But I'm going back for a wedding um, and I'm excited because I haven't seen uh, my people in a little over two years and I definitely wanted to have this camera with me so I can capture some of that moments and share some of the experience with you all. Going back to KEH um, where I got my 75 mil, that's actually where I also got my Olympus OM-10 back in 2016. I think they're a great place to buy and sell used camera gear and you get a lot of reassurance because they feature a grading scale based off the condition of the equipment. So the cool thing about the scale, it doesn't just give you a grade like an A plus and that's it. It actually describes to you what each grade means. So when it comes to the condition of the equipment, again, you get a lot of reassurance based off that scale. I do have an affiliate link down in the description below. So if you're looking to buy any kind of used camera gear, digital or film, definitely check them out and tell them Tristan sent you. The 75 millimeter lens isn't the only thing I got for the camera, but I actually got a black pro mist filter for that lens at a quarter strength. And I picked up this right here, the Kodak Gold 200 um, in 120 from Sammy's camera. I was shocked at how many boxes that they had of this, but I picked this up and I am beyond excited to use this. Um, I saw nothing but positive reviews on this. Um, watched several YouTube videos, including one by Volandis, which was really good. Um, so again, I can't wait to use this down in Atlanta. Anyway, with all that said, um, this channel will be changing just slightly as I get more and more into film photography. I'm actually really excited to introduce more film photography videos to this channel, but you can always count on much 
of the same content. I'm always gonna do gear reviews. I'm always gonna do tutorials. I'm always gonna talk about cameras. So you can always count on that. Take a shot for every time I just said always. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, that's that's really all I wanted to say in this video. I know it was a short one, but you know, I got to keep you all updated. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Tristan Irvin and I talk everything camera related, filmmaking, photography, now film photography, and I, I vlog too. And for those of you who have been around for a while, um, I hope you're as excited as I am to start shooting film um, consistently this time, not just on and off like I used to. But anyway, before you all head out make sure you drop a like on this video drop a comment um if you're a film photographer drop a comment and let me know what film i should check out i'm really interested in trying out different kinds of film um so again just let me know down in the comments below subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell so every time i do upload you get notified um i might take a week off since i'm going home to atlanta i just really want to be present with my family and friends that I haven't seen in two years. So if I'm not back here next Monday, you can count on a video the Monday after that. So until next time, y'all, I'm out of here. Be safe. We'll see you soon. Peace.